Today we're ranking Scythe. Today we're ranking ciders. They're really good. Enjoy the cider review. Stay till the end. All the numbers change. These ciders are really good. So I'm Spencer. I'm sorry if I'm not looking into the camera as much. Um, also, I don't know what that face is. It's like blue seal, I guess. Okay, so I went to this brewery. I'm sorry if you can barely hear me. AirPod in? Maybe it's making the audio good. What's this brewery? Cider brewery called Artifact. And I got four ciders. So the four ciders I got um, from this guy who owns the brewery, he's one of the founders, um, is Soham, right? Um, very cool. But what he said was that the, the four ciders I got are his, the ones that he used to train his team to get a tasting for ciders and to understand ciders. So, there's a specific order I'm going to be going into, and I'll explain why. So, the order I'm going in is this white one called Slow Down. Yeah, this is um, a fresh and bubbly cider inspired by rocky North Atlantic coast. Um... Very cool. This is from the Northeast. I'm in Boston. So, um, the fact that I, off the top of my head, didn't know which one was the Atlantic, we're just going to move past that. I'm going to assume it's the one that's nearest to me. Bet I'm right. Okay. That's the first one. Slow down. The second one. Wild thing. My mom just sent me a text that says, stop vaping and keep working out. Stop vaping. Sorry, Mom, I'm a wild thing. I really should stop vaping, though. It's pretty bad. The first impression, the feel of this can, really nice. You can buy these in some stores in in the Northeast. Um, this is a sweetness of 2 out of 5, acidity of 4 out of 5, and a structure of 1 out of 5. Okay, so little hint, not hint. Um, explanation as to why these four ciders were the ones that I got and why these four ciders sorry about that stop vaping and keep working out my dad's grilling right now making up some beef just going to flavor time and stuff um my roommate's here this is slow down these are made out of um, Macintosh apples. Macintosh. When he was saying that, I thought that he was talking about the store, but nope. He, like the computer company, but he was not. The two other ones I got are these. Wolf at the Door and Magic Hour. The difference of these is that these have higher structure than the other two do. These are both... One's out of ten in structure. The structure is based of based off of tannins. Definition of tannins right here. And culture. Probably gonna play a Migo song for culture, but then be like, just kidding. And now this is me explaining explaining the joke that I was making. Culture's like you use it in kombucha and in sauerkraut and stuff it's like a live bacteria that ferments things creates heat and ferments and makes things either alcoholy or probiotic -y. but these two beers wolf at the door apparently this sounds pretty intense this is a zero sweetness 
four acidity, three structure. Magic hour, two sweetness, three acidity, three structure. The order I'm going in. I'm drink these two first. I don't know. Slow down is a, I don't know which one I'm drinking first. Comment below which one do you think I drink first? Wild thing or slow down? This is backwards for me, so I can't read backwards very quickly. Fermented apple juice. Cool. Sulfites to protect freshness. Lightly carbonated, 200 calories. Naturally gluten-free. No doubt. Reading this one. Fermented apple juice. Sulfites to protect. My phone's at 10%. Sulfites to protect. Freshness. Lightly carbonated, 168 calories. Naturally gluten-free. Um, cool. So I'm drinking one of these two first. What thing is a juicy tart rule breaking cider? Hence the name. Made of 100% Macintosh apples. Slow down is a fresh bubbly cider inspired by Rocky North Atlantic. I'm gonna drink, uh, I'm gonna drink the slow down first. Smells good. It smells like wine. It smells like a white wine. Like a Pinot Grigio. Mmm. I don't know a ton of wines. It smells like a it smells like a Riesling. It really does smell like a Riesling. First taste, first impression. Cider house. nice not super sweet not a ton of it's not a like it's not an overwhelming apple cider taste like a like an uh, angry orchard which is the extent of my cider cider knowledge up until this point so any cider heads also coining the phrase cider head if that's not already a thing it should be so cider head spencer now or spencer wolfgang my real last name's now. Um, slow down. Tasty. I like it. I'm gonna open them all. This is Wild Thing. This one is rule breaking and tart. That one really was refreshing. Kind of did remind me of the ocean. That be he said that you can kind of slam this one. You can like put that one down. That's probably my method of drinking that's how it, if i had to put a word on it definitely smells a lot different smells like woods smells like the woods this would be good with like a campfire a first smell i like this one definitely more appley definitely a good apple taste on that one Macintosh apples. Yeah, I can tell. Have I ever had a Macintosh apple before? Maybe. This taste is pretty nostalgic for me, so probably. I like this. So far rating. Like a three. On a boat. If I was like wanting a seltzer, but I wanted a cider. This would be like an eight. Current situation, three. Current situation, seven. Really good. Okay. Those are the two Macintosh Apple ones. Really good. I like them so far. Very enjoyable. Um, even though I gave one a three on a boat, if I'm like tuna fishing, which is one of the things I really want to do. I'm going to get some of those. Artifact. Uh, artifact slow down on a boat in the northeast. Hold on. Let me picture this. Oh, yeah. On a beach. Dude. So good. I'm going to up my rating. 
5.8. You can eat oysters with it. I think this setting I'm drinking it, it's a three in this setting. So in my head, 5.8 on a boat, which is pretty high for me. I'm pretty picky. Um, wolf at the door. Oh, another thing. Sorry. This is really important. Two things. First thing, tuna fishing. If I'm going tuna fishing in the Northeast, I'm drinking some of these. Second thing, when I was in there, Soham, or Soham, it's S-O-H-A-M, said that there's a, like a pack of these that you can get where you also get sent oysters from a farm up here and I love that so this is like a really seafood makes a good pairing from what I was told also off first impression imagining eating an oyster yeah big time very good Okay, wolf at the door. Tannins and culture. Who says white people don't have culture? We have cider culture. So, cider head speaking. Cider head Spencer speaking. Not a lot of smell. Unless I just can't smell right now. I don't know. Not a lot of smell. There's zero sweetness. Four acidity. Three in structure. Wolf at the door is a raw and acidic bone dry seltzer. Cider. I'm reading it. I don't know why I mispronounced it. <laughs> um, made from wild fermented tannin apples. Tannic apples. No doubt. Yeah. This one's interesting. I like it. I think no I thought I did these in the wrong order I thought I drank them in the wrong order <sighs> these two the artifact slow down Macintosh apples these two tannins and culture which I don't actually know what that means I'm gonna look it up I don't want this video to be too long this video has been six minutes You know, you guys are just gonna have to deal with that. Sorry. Oh, you can do this. Hey Siri. Hey Alexa. No, Siri, don't. Sorry, I'm talking to your sister. Alexa. What are tannins? According to Wikipedia, a cannon is a large caliber gun classified as a type of artillery and usually launches a projector using nope. explosive chemical Alexa. Propellant. Yeah, probably because these are bomb. Alexa. What are tannins and alcohol? Here's something I found on the web. According to CapitalGazette.com, tannins are phenols, and why they come from the skins, seeds, and stems of the grapes. It's like the minerals and the nutrients of the outside of the skins of the apples and stuff. What we have? Seven. Really a seven. Between a five and a three, so I'm just gonna give it a four. This one's interesting. I think I give this a solid five. Four point nine. So far, the order. It's good. I like this. This is fun. I know I'm being a little. This one has more scent. This is Magic Hour. I didn't read this. Did I read the wolf one? Yeah, I definitely did. Um, and the price. We'll, we'll put a little rating at the top. I, I, don't, I don't know if I editing me needs to know what to do. <coughs> Cider burp. <coughs> um, 
outlines of the cans with the can, 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 number, 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 then can number. Hold that. Um, Magic Hour is a dreamy and harmonious cider. I like to think that I'm dreamy and harmonious. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, made with tannic fruit, our house culture, and our house culture. Sweetness 2, acidity 3, structure 3. This might be the highest one. This might be the best one. Okay. One thing I'm just remembering. This one. Was like. A bold. Take on cider. I taste it. I taste the bold taste on cider. Pretty good. Okay. This one. Mmm. 7.8, 7.6, It's good. It's like bubble gummy. I don't know if that makes it. It's like sweet. It's like a different type of sweet. It's good. Okay. Final ratings. <sighs> the moment you've all been waiting for. Slow down. This one was initially ranked the lowest at a three. In the current circumstance, being me in my room. It's good. I give it like a four. But like, if I like ocean air around me, playing Ocean Eyes, um, then Ocean Avenue, I would be like a solid eight. That'd be dope. Um, so, next time we go to the beach, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna get one, of, bring one of these, bring a four pack of these from Artifact Cidery, and give a, give a better review, but yeah, this one generally comes, sometimes comes with oysters, can be matched well with oysters, really good, I think, four. Ocean setting, seven or eight. Okay. Um, I have no idea what order. I think I ranked this second lowest. Not bad. This one is definitely the l least familiar of anything I've had relating to cider. Not mad at it. Has an interesting flavor. I might do this. We're gonna just go ahead and know that this is gonna be good with seafood. So this is getting moved up to a seven. This one, five. Not a big um, understander of cider. So this one, which you said was kind of like a bold take on cider. I like it. I like that it says wolf in the name. Maybe when I become more experienced with understanding cider, this will be good. Okay, this one. Definitely my favorite off initial taste. Eight. I know that all these ratings are different, but this is how I feel. Deal with it. Okay. Magic Hour. This one, really good. Initially a 7.8. 8.4. Eight, eight point four. All the numbers are the same the whole time. Don't, don't even test me. I'm so bad at reading things. These are really good. At first, I was like four, and I'm like, wait, that was so harsh. This is actually kind of good. 
maybe it was out of five, no one knows. Um, thanks for watching. Visit this website. And this website. That one might be my Instagram. And visit Artifact Brewery if you're ever in Boston. Also, like and subscribe.